Directions for use 1. Open package and remove combat gauze. Keep the empty package. There are six tear points located around the edge of the packaging. It is important to use these points when opening, as it is difficult or impossible to tear the package otherwise. Using the tear points, the package can be opened horizontally across the top or bottom of the package, as well as vertically along one side. Directions for use 2. Pack combat gauze into wound and use it to apply pressure directly over the bleeding source. More than one combat gauze may be required. Pack combat gauze into the wound. It is vital that you get the gauze into contact with the arterial or venous breach and do not simply cover the wound with the gauze. Be aware that a large injury may require more than one combat gauze to pack the wound fully. Any excess gauze should be used to apply pressure over the wound after packing. Pack the wound completely and fully, including filling any gaps or channels away from the main wound. A wound may not always present as a round hole. Regardless of the wound's size or shape, you must fill it completely with combat gauze. Start at the source of bleeding and work outward, packing the space tightly with the gauze as you go. Small caliber gunshot wounds and small shrapnel wounds can be very challenging. Again, it is vital that you get combat gauze into the wound and into contact with the source of bleeding. Directions for use 3. Continue to apply pressure for 3 minutes or until bleeding stops. Once the wound is fully packed, use any excess gauze to continue to apply pressure over the wound for at least 3 minutes. It is important to maintain consistent pressure. Do not push up and down on the wound or move the gauze unnecessarily. Do not lift the gauze away from the wound to see if bleeding has stopped. Directions for use 4. Wrap and tie bandage to maintain pressure. Seek medical care immediately. Show product removal directions on package to medical personnel. Use your issued pressure dressing or other appropriate materials to bandage the wound tightly, securing the combat gauze in place once bleeding has stopped. The dressing should both maintain pressure on the wound and prevent further contamination of the injury site. Once the dressing is secured, Tuck the empty combat gauze package into the outer wrap to alert receiving medical personnel that combat gauze has been used. Prior to patient transport, do not forget to mark the casualty card in the appropriate location indicating that a hemostatic agent has been used.